an alternative formula for the area of a triangle. So far, we've used the formula base times height divided by 2. You may also see this written as BH over 2. B and H written together like this means base times height. This is a perfectly good formula and it always works. But have you noticed something as you've been doing your practice? If we do this one, base times height, 4 times 6 is 24. Now that we've done the multiplication step, do you feel like just jumping to the area value without writing the divide by 2 step? We know the area is 12 centimetres squared because we can half 24 in our heads. If you do this, you're building math muscle and you're ready for more. We'll put this over here and get a duplicate triangle. Cut it in half down the middle. If I flip this part over, we can put it back together and make a rectangle. We just halved the original base of 4 centimetres. The height is still 6 and 2 times 6 gives an area of 12 centimetres squared, done in one line. I halved the base before multiplying and this always works. We can write a new formula to describe this math. Half base times height. Math textbooks show this as half b. H. We don't meet this formula first because some people find it a bit confusing when written this way. I don't want you to be confused, but I do want you to know that you might see it like this as well. And if you do, you know what it means. Let's do another one. Here we've got a base of 3 and a height of 4. You might say to me, I don't want to do half of 3 because that's 1.5. Do you think I'm crazy? Why would I make it difficult like that? And that would be a perfectly fair response. But, get this, you can keep the base and halve the height instead. Now that makes a difference, doesn't it? Why can we do this if the formula says half the base times the height? Two reasons. Any side of a triangle can be considered as the base. So we can decide that this is the base and this is the height. And also, you know that the order you multiply numbers doesn't matter. You always get the same answer. So you can halve either the base or the height and the result is the same. Of course, I'm not halving this base. You know why. I'm halving the height instead. Half of 4 is 2. Base times half the height then. 3 times 2 is 6 centimetres squared. It's quicker than the base times height over 2 formula. This is the alternative formula at work, but it's not the shortcut I promised you last time. That's coming next, and it's actually in the original formula. Here's my triangle and we're all ready to go. We know we can divide either base or height by 2. Do you remember multiplying fractions and reducing before we multiply? Well then, here comes the shortcut. We can just divide by 2 like reducing a fraction. So 2 divided by 2 is 1 and 12 divided by 2 is 6. And now 5 times 6 is 30 centimetres squared. How quick is that? In fact, this is the easiest way to get the area of a triangle. Use it if either the base or the height is an even number, so it can be halved easily. Set out for the original formula and reduce either base or height, not both, by this factor of 2 and of course that gets rid of the denominator then just multiply and there's the area one line of math only nice this strategy is particularly helpful if you have a triangle like this one base is 7 times height of 24 do we really want to multiply 7 by 24 of course not do it the easy and quick way instead Divide straight away, just like you do for fractions multiplication. And we get 
Seven times twelve. That's eighty-four. So the area is eighty-four centimeters squared. How about that for a time saver? You are now ready to rock any area of a triangle question, and you now have several strategies you can use. Have fun. See you soon.